What's going on, guys? Welcome to the internet. I'm your host, Frank, and I'm eating raisins. All right, I'll see you later. No, just kidding. Is it Wizard's Lightning or is it Squee? Because Squee is really what you want to open. If you want to open a legendary creature from uh, from Urza Saga, it's really Squee. I don't know, man. Lightning's pretty good. Someone will pass Siege Gang. Wow, that's that seems ambitious. I think Squee is actually very good. Is it better than Lightning? Wizard's Lightning, though? I don't know. Yes, this stream is definitely jinxed. I agree with you. I'm gonna go with the lightning. Lightning is good. My name is Jeff. Unsubscribe. Wow. Unsubscribe. Wow. Magic.frank.internet.hotdog.draft.co.gov. That's actually, uh, that's actually my official website. I don't know how you found that. That's really uncomfortable. Spore Crown Talon's pretty good. Tiana's okay. Like, here's the thing about Tiana. Flying in first strike is awesome. 3-3 flyer first strike for five. That's cool. Right? But whenever an aura or equipment you control is put into the graveyard, you may return it to its owner's hand at the beginning of the next end step. So, like, okay. Uh, if an equipment dies, you're, it's very rare. And if an aura dies, uh, they're usually either killing it in response or they're going to kill your Tiana first. So I don't know. This, this ability seems a real niche. What house from Harry Potter would you be if you were a wizard? Um, probably Ravenclaw. I'm going to take the Spore Crown Thalot. I think it's just a better card. Oh, blessing, blessing light, blessed light. Blessing Blessed Light. Or a Ka Kazarov could be good. We could do the Black Red. Is there a Raisin House? I'll go into the Raisin House. I don't want to say Gryffindor, because that's like... I'd be in Gryffindor. <laughs> and I don't want to say Slytherin, because... I don't know. You don't want to be Slytherin, man. Come on. You don't really want to be Slytherin. And you don't want to say Hufflepuff, because... <laughs> come on. Let's be for real. So I think I just default to Ravenclaw. Raisin Claw, that's even better. I'm a fan of that. I'm going to take this Kara's Dissolve and Evolve. Especially because we already got this red, this red boy. And Goblin Bargy, Call the Cavalry. I think Call I think Call is actually better than Goblin Barrage. But considering we have this Wizard's Lightning, I think it's Goblin Barrage. And I'll just put this guy to my... Oh, crying out loud. We could take this or we can take one of these. We're putting this dude next to us into the white. With the blessed light. Thank you. Madash, thank you so much for the sub. Welcome back, buddy. I don't know what to do. It's not call. It's either your gross or fire intervention. I think it's your gross. We can probably get another fire intervention, but your gross turns on things that are pretty sweet. Wow, this pack is good too. Gideon's reproach. Could have took the intervention and then just ignored the the Urgros. I think we messed up, man. I think we messed up, guys. I done messed up, eh, Aaron? What do you take? I think it's just Reproach here. I don't think it's Lava Mancer in this kind of a deck. Whatever, I'll take the reproach and I'll cut. Oh, all right, giddy. Okay, now we're back on. We're back on track, guys. We got a fire intervention back. We're doing all right. These guys can go on the sideboard for now. This is our deck. It's a great day to be. I agree with you. It is a great day to be alive. All right, so we got acolyte, which is kind of doo doo. Jousting lance, which is always pretty good. Both of these guys are good, but they're green, and these two are fine. I think it's lance. Lance also gives us some to sacrifice to this guy. I'll take the Lance. I'm actually not a big... Controversial, I'm not a big Wind Grace Acolyte fan. Divest is kind of like removal. This stream brought to you by Farmer Frank's Clean Break Raisins. When you've been streaming for days and need a clean break, think Farmer Frank. Wow. That's amazing. 
Wow. I want to take this blessing because at this point, we got some legends. All right, well. Who was worried about your gross? Also, you're gross. Got him. All right, we're not playing two blessings. This has been... Last night I unlocked a couple of achievements. One, I went to Chapter 3 on Mending of Dominaria with the Tatio and played Drew 5, Gain 5. I also recast Mending of Dominaria three times with an active Muldrotha in play that was being protected by two Dauntless Bodyguards. That's pretty good. Okay, this is enough blessings, I think. I don't think we're going to play three, I'll be honest with you guys. That's pretty sick, dude. That is not a reasonable... Warlord's Fury. I'm not thrilled with this pack one. But I think we passed good enough white signals that we can uh, feel good about our choices. Wow, how many guys' blessings is too many? The answer is one. One is the answer. What up, Spaghetti Toucher? Somebody touch my spaghetti! I have been taking some improv classes and they have paid off a sketch of mine is on the front page of Funny... What? Is that for real, dude? Are you serious right now? Can you link that in the chat, dude? Don't say something like that and don't link it, dude. Link it. What if you play against the mill deck? I'll just put... I'll put more I'll put more cards in the deck. What's the matter with you? Go back to F and M, buddy. You nerd. Nerd This pack is terrible for us. Wizards of Tort and Divination are good. Alfheim Druid's good. Are we playing in the ramp deck? No. Do you guys remember when we opened that money card? That was sweet, guys. Do you remember? Do you remember? No one remembers? I don't remember either. It never happened. That was a fictitious situation. I'm literally tempted to take this chapel just so we can splash white cards. Yeah. There's nothing else in this pack for us. God, these packs are fat garbage. Skizik, I guess? Unfortunately, eating Hungry Howie's is a bit of a nombo and trying to have... <laughs> Ah, oh, the infinite cringe Mike B face. Fantastic. Alright, Skizik it is. This is not... You know, sometimes when you wake up, you really don't expect this is where you're going to be in life. I guess it's Calico Skin Witch. Did he say Calico? Like the cat? Everybody click on that Funny or Die link and vote for... Uh, Vote for Jester Pooh's video. I don't need to switch that to go well. Oh my god, I need to watch this and like... I can't watch it while streaming, but I have to watch it. I want to take the Calico Skin Witch, like a cat. Calico Sandwich, yeah. It's delicious. That was a long F was the only explaining something. What was... What, did I say something? Oh, this guy's really good. And then nothing in our colors is good, other than this guy. Holy crow! Holy cromoles. But you could play Bloodstone Golem. You have two spells that get kicked. Well, three, but... I'm going to vote for it even though I didn't look at it. I didn't even watch it yet and I'm going to vote funny. Funnied. Also, I think... I, Jester Poo, I think I know your real name now. I think I figured out your name. This pack is terrible. I feel bad for this entire pack. I want to take this untamed Kavu. I'm just going to stick to the plan. Oh my god. There are signals and we are missing them. But it's too late. It's too late! It's literally, we can't turn back now. I'll take this idiot, I guess. Unbelievable, man. Do 
do we just take all the lands? It's too late. We do have Gaia's Blessing. The one problem with eating these raisins is that sometimes you get these, like, dried pits. Your raisin pits or stems or whatever. And you're like, what is this crunchy bit in my mouth? I didn't eat anything crunchy. And then it's raisins. It's just raisin residue. Raisin do. This should not come back. This should not still be in the pack for an eighth pick. I'm sorry. I don't think black red's a good color combo when you don't get the cards for it, but come on. Come on. This is just ridiculous. I'll take this wizard's retort. That's a foil wizard wiz wizard's retort. This is this deck looks not good. We're having a bad time, ladies and gentlemen. Green is is so insanely open that it's I feel bad about about leading you down this down this path. In before YouTube comments that are like, you could add an insane green deck. You I would have taken this, this, and this over this. And I want to be like Cool. Oh, the Karma Hunter is in the same pod. I'll take this Cabal Paladin. Maybe we're just going to Cabal Paladin them out. Probably not. Okay. Oh, hey. hey. Only notice because you're... Yeah, that Ragavan really stands out. Whatever. I'll take a Demonic Vigor in case you want to bring any of these idiots back. It's okay. It's oh, that's actually playable. I, I like that two drop. I'm okay with that. That guy might have brought the whole deck together. I mean, if we open any white card, we're just splashing it off of the, the isolated chapel, and it makes me wish I did take the sulfur falls, because then we could have had isolated chapel and sulfur falls, and then we could have had the the white blue splash from those to play the teferi. So, you know. Oh, a forest. It's a sign that green was open all along. The green was inside of you all along. Oh, uh, sulfur falls. Good thing, good thing. It's okay, guys. It wasn't a Karn or a Teferi. Don't worry. Thank goodness. It's okay, guys. No no Teferi. Or Karn. Or anything, really. I think it's actually Shivenfire over Garna. I think Garna's pretty overrated, actually. It's very rare you can actually get uh, Garna to work out the way you want it to. I met my girlfriend a mono red deck and she thought it sucks. I ran with her on my I ran it with her on my Black White Knights, Flame of Kill, Chapter 3, and a Goblin Chain Relative Killer 5 Night board just before Chapter 3 has started now. I convinced her it was a good deck. Seems good. Oh, we did it, boys! Wow. That's actually hilarious. Who said we were getting past Siege Gang Commander? Was it LaFoaf? That's amazing. Wow. How is that real, dude? I mean, I think the deck is actually going to turn out amazing in this last pack because no one no one has taken any of these black or red cards. Oh my god. What did we take over sweet? We took the wizard's lightning? I mean, that's still that's still a right pick. I think it's barrage here, especially with the CGN commander. I'm almost tempted to take this haphazard, haphazard bombardment here. I think it's actually pretty good. It's better. I mean, it's obviously better than these two. I think. That's hilarious. We're just gonna get past the siege gang commander. Boy, don't I look sheepish? I actually think I want the short sword here. Mm 
That's hilarious. Wow, two of the two of the draft boys themselves are unsubbing. That's that is unfortunate. That's how you can tell you're really messed up. Rad colony. We're doing it. Wow, now I have to go to GP Vegas just because of that? Good lord. Currently, I have no plans to go to GP Vegas. It's just too soon. It's like in two weeks. I just got a comment on a YouTube video. Apparently, I said the word Dylan in the draft. And the comment says, my name is Dylan. I wasn't paying attention for a moment. and got super freaked out because I thought you had the power to see through YouTube and get my attention. <laughs> Dylan, listen. I'm from the future. This guy sucks. You're not getting played. I guess we just played Partic Wanderer. As just a big idiot. It also triggers our Cabal Paladin. I could care less about Kelden Wanderer. I'm going to GP Vegas. We can room together. Oh, the cringe icon makes it so good. I mean, I would consider that if the video that you linked was funny. I'll have to figure out. If it's not funny, we can't do it. But if it's funny, that's definitely an option. Sure. I can't be rooming with no funny, with no non-funny, unfunny people. Big idiots do win draft. Wow. 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 I actually want the other goblin because of the double goblin barrage, the skizik. We actually have a good amount of Calico Skinwich and Double Keldon. Um This guy's better than Thalid Omnivore, so. Hey, Memorial War came back. That's cool. That squee would have been good. I mean, I'm sure the wizard's lightning also is going to be good. Come on. Let's not be ridiculous. I don't know if we want a blessing of bells and lock. We have to make three cuts here? Holy smogolies. Probably Cabal Paladin. You suck. You suck, Cabal Paladin. Squee would also be good with Cabal Paladin. You just keep playing it. Um, we only have 13 creatures, so that's something to be mindful of. Uh-oh. <coughs> Woo! Woo! Got the shorts. Oh, a Drudge Sentinel? Get out of here. God, I don't want you in the deck. Alright, this became 12 creatures. Is that a lot? It's not a lot. I mean, is that enough? I wish we had a Memorial. Memorial would be amazing because we could just get back our Siege Gang Commander. We can take out Haphazard Bombardment probably. And bring in like a like a duder. Is it just Drudge Sentinel? Drudge Sentinel with a with a with a jousting lance seems pretty okay actually. Alright, so anyway, you guys two multiple people think this is this is good, so I'll just put it in the deck. We'll take out the Sentinel. We can take out actually one Overseer is probably better than than the Sentinel. All right. Uh, this isn't non-land. Non-enchantment permanence. Wow, that's so funny that they're like, make sure Red doesn't have a way to deal with enchantments. Okay. You can make the card, just don't give them a way to deal with enchantments. People love their lands. They really do. We could also play Memorial to War. I'm going to play the Memorial too.
because if our plan is even marginally to blow up their lands, sure, memorial it up. What does bombardment do? I'll let you read it. I'm gonna, and then I'll also tell you, you choose four permanents, not enchantments, you put counters on them, and then you randomly blow three of them up. Them up. Yeah, I also feel like I probably never want to hold up mana for Drudge Sentinel. I agree with you on that. But the fact is you're able to do it, which is nice. So in the late game, if you have a Drudge Sentinel and a Jousting Lance, it's actually very, very hard to deal with. It's just a 4-1 that never dies. And Goonies never say die, so keep that in mind. You at the PT? I'm at my house. I live here. Ah, oh, the Karma Hunter opened a Karn Pack 2 and a Weatherlight Pack 3. Must be nice. I would. I, I have no idea what that feels like, just so you know. Oh, Weatherlight have opened twice, I think. So, mediocre, mediocre Mythics I have no problem with. That shit's my bread and butter. I like bread and butter. I like toast and jam. This siege gang commander is gonna be the first creature that we land. Ba boom 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 boom. What are you bringing out here? We're taking like a million damage from this thing if we don't kill it now, so we'll kill it now. Oh, do we just play this? Probably it gives us something to do next turn. But if we hit land, land, it's just better to hold it. So. There's no pressure here. I really actually don't understand what's going on. Like, it's very strange to have done 50 drafts and not opened a single Lyra, Karn, or Teferi. Like, that's. And having only. I've opened one history of Benalia. It's a very. It's very strange. Like, I mean, I'm all for randomness, right? But at a certain point, it's just doesn't make sense okay well that's cool a draft boy opened two cards last night man you guys are just rubbing it in now this is the still had all these equivalent of draft opens I like bread and butter that's a fair trade Oh, I very well may very may well have insulted a gypsy. I do have a siege gang in my hand though, so that's good. Land? No, not a land. Never a land. Oh, cast you and not attack with your hastiness. A Lyra and two Teferis, that is significantly better than myself. Way to brag about it, Chris. Real mature, buddy. Sure. No blockerinos. Because I don't have creatures, you see. This guy. Chain whirler. I did open a Teferi pack too last night when I was ready on blue. Ha <laughs> ha! You guys are all jerks. Just a stream, just a jerk stream right now. I'm here for the Siege Gang. I like it. That was a good reference. I just want you to know that I stopped watching, went downstairs to make egg salad when you got past the Siege Wow. That is painful to hear, my friend. I like bread and butter. I like toast and jam. Oh, I get that eviscerate back. 
reasonable, but not great. Boom, ba ba boom, ba ba boom, ba ba boom, boom, boom. What are they doing? Nobody knows. I mean, I slept till 11.30. Well, Mike B is still sleeping, so. What did they just do? Soul salvage. That's pretty good. It's uh, so not bad. Huh. Well, I'll be a biscuit. I'm doing this because I don't want them to double block. I mean, we're going to lose this guy anyway, but... <sighs> cool. The old five cards and two one threes to zero cards and two... Yeah. In before uh, Fire Fist Wizard. I mean, I didn't say, oh, I wouldn't say, oh boy, we can draw Karazal off the top, but they have Eviscerate in hand that we know, so. Pretty sure there's literally nothing we can draw here that actually gets us out of this. Let's find out. Nope. Eviscerate. Divest. Nope. Nope. Yeah, our deck is pretty bad. Especially against their deck where they have infinite card advantage. Like, I really just want to deal a bunch of damage with uh, Siege Gang, Skizik, Goblin Barrages, Keldon Overseers, Wizards Lightning. Like, we have a bunch of cards that actually deal incremental damage. Four Drop Fungus could be good. Probably better than something else, I imagine. Whatever. I'll submit it as a 41st. I don't even care. I like bread and butter. I will play first. Clearly. I'm going to keep this hand. Any, any swamp and we're good to go. The vest is fine. Creatures are literally what you want to deal with in limited formats. So if you have a, a, a card like Divest, which only hits creatures or artifacts, it's actually very good. <laughs> oh boy, you've literally given me Mountain Black card. Pretty sure I'm 1,000% on the Magic Online blacklist. Sure. We, well, we had two good games here. Two very, very good games. Two very, very interactive, fun games of Magic the Gathering on the internet. God, I was so excited about streaming today. I was like, we're going to have some fun. We're going to do some drafts. We're going to draft a miserable deck. 
Other people in the queue are gonna enter are gonna open Carnes. It's hard to not let a draft get you down, pro primarily because you're committed to it for three drafts, your three matches, right? Like, I would love to be like, oh, it's no big deal, it's just a draft, but like, ugh, we gotta play these three rounds out with this deck that's kind of mediocre. Sure. This is where they play uh, Fire Fist Adept and just kill this guy, right? Oh my god. Done. Absolutely done. Cool. I had a good time. You don't want to drop? Not really, because I'm trying to make content, so I'm trying to make videos, so... I mean, if I drop, like, there's no video. I, lo I lose all this time. I've, I've just wasted half an hour. And also, if I drop, I don't get to see how the deck does. So, like, I mean... I, there's no guarantee we're not going to be able to win our matches, but... Hearthstone is good. Hearthstone's a good game. Uh-huh, Inspector Gadget. Do, 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 do. Talk to me about content. What do you want to know? What do you want to hear? What do you want to know? What do you want to hear? Uh, I have tried Magic Arena. I was not thrilled by it. I will play first. I'll keep this hand and never draw a second red source or anything lower in casting costs than four. Certainly. Certainly I'll do that. Go, Gadget, go! Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba Sing the Halo song, Frank? What is the Halo song? What's the kind of content that gets you going? That gets you blood flowing, jazzes you up. What is what is the type of content? That, um, all right. So we're on track to not draw the second red and to not draw anything lower than four. That's good. That's good. Um, what kind of content does jazz me up? That's a good question. I mean, I like making things that are funny. Okay, st we, we, we got half of it, but still nothing until four. It's okay. Like, if I'm making people laugh, that's good. That's good times. That's all I can ask for. Which is sad because like then I end up in drafts like this where I'm just like, man, it brings me down to a point where I'm just like, I feel like I'm failing. Like, and now we're taking like six damage here when we haven't even played a card yet. Top three favorite music artists right now. Um, the National. Uh, bleachers or, you know, anything by Jack Antonoff really. And hmm, let me check my Spotify real quick. See if I have any have any insights here. Oh, time of ice. How nice. I don't know. I've been I've been finding myself more and more um, more and more fond of Vance Joy, which is, which is interesting to me.
And that's just that's just modern. That's just uh, you said music artists right now. Those would be my right now music artists. But that's not like my all time favorite my favorite artists. What in the earth? I met someone. I don't know if you I gotta get back. I can't back this up. I have this note. Now I have the new Vance Joy song stuck in my head. Bounce, my dude. Bounce, bounce, my dude. I'm just gonna shiv and fire this guy because it's gonna get bigger at some point. No run amok, please. Okay. Well, if they ran amok and we went to one, I'd be I'd just cry. Man, why aren't you a wizard? I'm a warrior, Hattie. Okay, well, that's weird. Well, that's certainly not canon. Fire Fist at up number two. That doesn't do anything, I guess. I gotta get back. I can't let this go. No, oh, well, that's good. Congratulations. Oh, you should have killed the goblins, stupid. Yep, I guess so. Well, this is going to be a quick draft, if nothing else. So. Not our finest work. I was excited. I'm like, we're going to draft a good deck. It's going to be unbeatable. I should have just taken the Call to Cavalries. As soon as I saw that first Call to Cavalry, I should have been like, this is it. This is a signal. Forget these other mediocre... Uh, It was a monorail deck for a friend called One Karn or Twelve Jaya. It surprisingly went to one. Wow. So one problem I have with these raisins so far is that it's one big block of raisins, so it looks like an ant nest. It just looks like it's hard to it's hard for to, to to show you the point, but it's like it's one big block of raisin. Like, I can probably lift this thing out as its own block of raisins, and it's kind of ridiculous. But, yeah. You can see it better now. Like, it's like literally just a brick of raisin. Did you guys see Hunter? Was he peeking? I do remember Raisin Bran. It was Raisin. It was Raisin Bran, not Raising Brand, right? Because it was it was a it was a serial reference. I mean, but you know that I'm sure. But I don't think anyone said Raising. Like no one even says that. No one even says G's anymore. G's are so. Yeah, raisins are weird, man. Oh my god, I get back. I can't let this go. Alright. Tell that to goat bots? What are we telling the goat bots? Sure. What a little cutie. I will assuredly block. Okay.
You know what, man? You got it. Oat bots. Okay, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. Gotta bounce. Good luck with the rest of your content today, even when it feels bad. Just try to have fun. Hey, don't tell me what to do. You're not my dad, Lafof. But boy, if you were, we'd have a good time, Dad. You know we're gonna you know we'll have a good time, Dad. Oh my god, there's another draft boy. Another draft boy has emerged. This chat is draft boys for days. Give me a land so I can skizzik here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Thank you. Oh, and we get the the buff from this dude. Oh boy. Gas. Take eight. You know we'll have a good time then. LaFoof. Wanna hear something messed up? I do. I do want to hear something messed up. Only if no one is harmed in the making of this messed up story. Okay. Boom, ba ba 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 boom, boom. Have you read the Celtic Thunder version of Cats in the Cradle? If yes, I have not. I mean, we're gonna write, we're gonna blessing to get through this guy, so. Man, I'd rather this be a fungal infection, but what can you do? I got seven power on board. That ain't gonna do it. They should be dead, right? And the cat's in the cradle and this one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's fine. I'd rather get your skirt prospector off the board. Well, the cat's in the cradle and the silver spoon. Little boy blue and the siege gang commander. That doesn't make any sense. When you're coming home, Dad, I don't know when. But I'll shoot these goblins at you then. I'm gonna shoot the goblins at you then, son. Was he a jerk prospector? He didn't really, he didn't really do anything. He didn't really offend me in any way. What if I take this demonic vigor and put it on a siege gang commander or something? That might be bless that might be better than blessing to be quite honest. I never give that card a good shake, but maybe we're gonna give it a good shake right now. Shake it up. Ooh, it's good. Sadly, they're losing or dying, but they was a huge fan, and the accent made it so good. Not in the accents, make everything better kind of way. Nice, nice. I'm gonna shoot these goblins in your den. Sure. Wow, look, Elk Tears joined the party and finally realized the Cosme is here. Amazing. Nice of you to join us, Elk Tears. The cat's in the cradle and the silver spoon. Little boy blue and the man in the moon. Long since retired, my son flew away on the weather light just the other day. Oh my god. Oh my god, what's happening? Really? Traded this guy just to play this a turn sooner? Intriguing. Most intriguing. Well, we're not going to attack here, so we'll just play Golly. Golly! Draft boys, myself, Electors, and Joe drafted yesterday at the shop. D Draft Boy Joe proceeded to draft a decent control deck with a Karn, but played it so slowly, played to a draw game one. 
Joe then got paired up. He then played to another draw, and his opponent submitted to his will and gave him the win after realizing they didn't have enough time for game three. Match three for the Wednesday draft win uh, was against none other than Elk Tears, which he then won in an unconvincing fashion. Why? Why does he win? Then he cracked his winning packs like a noob, opened another car, and well, the story is that the good guys never win. <laughs> oh, God. Elk Tears. Cosme? Did I just say it wrong? My God, I feel so bad now. I, I actually, I feel less. I feel bad because I pronounced it wrong, but I don't feel bad that you corrected me because you don't need my sympathy, my friend. I guess we'll get in there with this fine gentleman. What's up, ew, you're skinny. How you doing, buddy? How you doing, buddy? Don't wizards retort me, bro. Why did he get rid of that mountain when he has all these other cards in his hand? Well, you see... He's going to draw land right now as a glider. It's close, but it's not the same. So. That is messed up, Joe. Unbelievable. How's Joe going to open two Karns in the same draft when he goes to time in every round? That's unbelievable to me. How are you going to act, Joe? These are your friends. That's, that's behavior unbecoming of a draft boy, I would say. Our opponent is missing land drops left and right. So if we win, I blame it on that. How many Bloodstone Goblins you got, man? Name that movie. My name is Lemon Zer I don't actually know that. I have... I don't... I. That reminds me of something like... It reminds me of like an Austin Powers movie or Zoolander. Oh, it's Ocean's Eleven. Oh, okay. 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 I'm just going to play this guy. <laughs> usual suspects. No, usual suspect is Kaiser Sose. My name is Kaiser Sose. I really just want to get creatures off the board here because, I mean, us discarding that land isn't the worst because it only actually prevents us from playing Siege Gang. This is intriguing. That was an interesting trade. So how do I go about this deck critiquing ability that I have? Uh, send me a message. Shoot me, like, check my Twitch profile. It's in my Twitch profile. All the information is at your disposal, my friend. All the information is there for you, my friend. Wow. Actually, is that better? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, this has to be better, right? The cat's in the cradle and the silver spoon. Little boy blue and the man in the moon. They're going to play a land and a fire for that up to them, But they can't kill us. You can come into the end, son. Okay. Okay. 
Well, they block here. They take one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's still a fine. That's a fine deal. You know we'll have a good deal then. I think Partic Wanderer is probably the best, but like if they draw land and they have fire intervention, they can just kill it. I guess that's true of everything in our hand, though. Whereas this guy at least dodges Wizard's Lightning and Goblin Barrage and has Trample. So... That song is uh, Cats in the Cradle by Cat Stevens, if you were being serious. You want to know what the song is again, son? I never knew there was stuff below. Holy crap, it's a whole new world. I feel like Aladdin. Wow, that's hilarious. Yep, so they did have the fire intervention, which would have also killed Ergos, but then they're dead, right? One, two, three. Oh, I guess they're not dead because we have Jousting Lance. They don't know we have Jousting Lance. I, yeah, that's also a thing. They're dead a lot in a lot of ways here. This guy's a wizard, so we get the discount. Are you listening? Wow, I can't believe we won this match. I know it was an old song, just forgot that. Okay, cool, cool, cool. <laughs> uh, good times. Did they say something? I guess I'll never know because the text disappears forever. See, this is why we don't drop because it's like, that doesn't make any sense. We could win. Our opponent's decks could be worse than ours, or our deck could not be as bad as we thought it was. It is a good hand. You know we'll have a good time then. Keep. Oh, I would have said GG's. I would have GG's them. G's. Scrawling is so cool. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, ew, you're skinny. Good times, buddy. In before we never hit a second red. I say GG to this guy and he just ignores me. Wow, Frank, how rude are you? You never res you never respond to your opponents when you play them. You think you're better than they are? I didn't. I just I literally asked what they said. I'm sorry. Here's one. Our deck isn't as bad as we thought it was. Buck Karn. Never heard of him. <laughs> you heard of a, a guy named Karn? Never heard of him. Never seen him before. Oh, apologies in advance for all the YouTube viewers who are like, man, now you got Cat Stevens stuck in my head. Sorry, brah. Yeah, if you guys haven't done so, check out my Patreon page today. I actually posted a Frank's thoughts about Frank thoughts about uh, someone who said I had no honor and integrity in the game of Magic. It's a good listen if I do say so myself because I I I made it. Quende, Quende, put you in the graveyard. Oh, that was a good draw. Holy smokes, that was a good draw. Perfect. Yeah, I'll link you guys to it. Here you go. Quende bloody are they attacking with this dude? So Gideon's reproach is in your hand. That's fine. You're gonna play it on my turn, or you're gonna play it on your turn. It's whatever. Sure. 
I can't play around in Gideon's reproach. I just have to let it happen. I remember once I was in the 11th Street leaving Wawa and I saw Frank crossing the other way and I'm like, whoa, it's Frank Lepore. And he was like, hey, man. And then he went into Wawa. I remember that too. That was a good time. Wait, is that true? Did that happen in Philadelphia? Oh my god, I remember that happening. Yeah, I was doing coverage. I was doing Watsy coverage that weekend at the, G at the GP. That's crazy. One silver spoon buck. Thank you so much, Plant Zombie. I like our new our new buck meme. That's actually pretty... That's pretty funny. Oh, wow. This is because you are such an honorable individual. Here's two, what, two ew, skinny, ew, your skinny bucks. Two honorable bucks. I'll choose this turtle. Um, this land, this land, and this land. I could care less about your poet, I'll be honest with you. I think we just pass here. Come on, kill the turtle. First shot, first shot, first shot. Land. Dang it. You can put a counter on a turtle if you want to. I like this meme where you guys give me money. I do. I like it a lot. I like the format, really. I don't mind you giving me one buck bug. <laughs> I don't mind the donations, certainly. Uh, no, one, I'm never, never gonna, never gonna make any illusions about that. But I'm also partial to the meme where it's like, this is what the buck is for. Don't be a second. Oh, you get a okay. That's fine. I don't. I don't necessarily care about that as much as I should. Boy, this turtle's really stonewalling me here. All right, let's see what happens. Turtle to the graveyard. Okay, another planes. Seems good. What up, Tin Man? Good seeing you, buddy. Yep, a divination and a Gideon's reproach in your hand. It's pretty good. Pretty good. If they crack the land, then the turtle guarantees death. That's pretty sweet. I hope they crack the land. So they got a reproach and we have an Ergos. And even if we draw like Bells and Locks, Bells and Locks Bloody Rites or something, it doesn't do anything. All right, let's see if we hit three lands. 50-50 to kill that turtle. One for the hair, 44 cents for this draft dex value. <laughs> Love it. Two, four, six, eight. This is 10 damage right here by itself. I've been watching one one buck meme meme buck. That's <laughs> I've been watching your vids for about three weeks. I was having an awful time drafting Dom, but after watching, I felt really ready for a new draft. This may sound weird, but I, I was like, it's nice that Frank hasn't opened a Karn because this way I can evaluate the cards better. I was nice drafting pack one, and then in pack two there was a Karn. I'm telling just telling you this because I won my first trophy because of you and don't even play Karn. Thanks a lot, world. <laughs> Charlie. Thank you so much for saying so, man. Really appreciate it. Um, shoot you. This guy. I mean, if you want to reproach my this guy, that's good for this guy, right? This puts you to eight, so I literally have lethal on board with my goblins. Turtle die, turtle die. Turtle die. Turtle go to the trash can. I want you to go away. 
Turtle, why are you still here? I think your answer have two more points. Oh, okay. I thought it, I thought it killed three. Okay, so that was just me uh, misinterpreting the card. I thought it killed like three permanents. Once you know, it kills three of the permanents or something. It does this ability three times or something. Yeah, you yeah you should just sing the trooper in the middle of the road. That's a good. That's a better play. I think they're probably gonna kill this guy. Even if we played the red, we wouldn't. Huh. Interesting. So let's just assume they don't have life gain this turn, right? No life gain. We know you have divination, we know you have turtle. Not divination, reproach. Reproach and turtle. That is steel value. We also do have, we have two barrages in our deck too, so we, that's another four damage if we need it. Oh wow, that's not going to do it. Y'all, death is imminent, sir. They're going to draw four cards, but they only have three lands to work with. That's assuming that they uh, hit a land, which they... Oh, I guess you get to kill this guy, which is unfortunate. But then if you kill that guy, we get to get in there with Urgos. So, like, I don't think there's any real profitable outcome here for you. Clean it up. <laughs> Stop! He's already dead. Oh, they figured it out. They're like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Considering our ability to deal damage like that, I almost wonder if like Cabal Paladin and Short Sword are just better than certain other things. Blessing we can take out. For Cabal Paladin. Sure. But Marmot didn't kill their land because you have to have two aim counters on things. If you have at least two aim counters, destroy one of them at random. Uh, once they bounced their turtle, we no longer had... <laughs> they no longer had two aim counters. <laughs> See, the trooper's already in my head right now. Unbelievable. Tin Man, you said not much listening to you bagging minis. And I was like, I thought I didn't see the much. So I, I, I read it as not listening to you bagging minis. And I was like, well, that's, I guess that's good. I I haven't done that. I, I, I don't know how you could listen to me do that, but. <laughs> I like Quacker with the, with the, with the super random Quende bloody Quende. That's nice. Uh, that's nice. We gotta bring the short sword in if we're bringing in the uh, the Cabal Paladin. I'm gonna mulligan this hand because, good lord, it's terrible. I'll keep this hand, but good lord, it's not great either. We may have a Mike B approaching. They went to six too, so they're basically dead. I'm gonna put this on the bottom, even though uh, we're surely gonna get screwed by the double red here. Never mind. I stand corrected. Whoa. It's all making sense now. Yeah, they have Rescue and Tragic Poet, so they're just living the life of uh, replay Mirari Conjecture a million times. 
Would I say Mike B is a Snorlax? If there was definitely a Pokemon that Mike B represented, it's probably Snorlax, yeah. That's a good that's a good assessment. I'm gonna kill this because it does have a lot of interactions with your deck. And it's one damage instead of two for the rest of my life. Well, neither of us are doing anything, so that's cool. Unfortunately, we still don't have a play for like two turns, but maybe they don't know that. Maybe we just draw like a uh, Keldon Warriors. All right. Well, that's a thing. Uh, I think they called me a bug type because of Sultai because of blue black green that would be my guess i'm gonna so here's the thing this guy gets around partic wanderer gets around gideon's reproach uh neither of them get around counter spells or blink of an eye but obviously that didn't happen so that's pretty cool okay so you don't have gideon you're not gonna gideon's reproach block you could double reproach i guess that's pretty good. They have to have something, right? Oh, wow. Well, our hand was nothing but big stuff, so here we go. Befuddle. Oh, that was a desperation befuddle right there. They're still stuck on four, though? This is rough. Now you have to have a approach, right? What is happening right now? Unfortunately, sword does not put you out of approach range, so I will just assume that you're going to approach, and that's life. Yep. Actually, yeah, that feels bad for them, but I mean, it's it's the point of the land, you know? Like, if you couldn't cast anything on four, like... You're going to have to draw something that costs either three or four and draw land, so. And the good thing is this puts them to four, so Goblin Barrage is lethal if we hit another land, so that's pretty good. Wow. This is why we don't drop from the draft, because, like, despite the fact that our deck did not feel good and, and round one we lost handily, still 2-0. Yeah, it's not going to do it. Don't say you're not going to do it. What up, Dolph Malber? Good games. Good games. 
All right, and that's that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Sorry about the salt in round one. Didn't think our deck was good, and that's a little frustrating because you're making content. And you want to provide something that's entertaining and 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 riveting and keeps you on the edge of your seat. But then we were like, oh, this deck is just terrible, and then we go two zero with it. So, what are you gonna do? Thank you guys so much for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Patreon too. I just posted new content today, and there will be new content tomorrow as well. So definitely check that out. And I'll see you next time.